A group of neurodegenerative disorders are caused by the expansion of polyglutamine or polyq sequences in specific proteins. This renders the proteins aggregation prone and large inclusion bodies are found in the brains of patients. But how or whether these aggregates are toxic remains poorly understood. Here we analyze the cellular consequences of polyq aggregation using a variety of microscopy techniques. By live cell imaging, we observe that polyq inclusions interact extensively with the membranes of the endoplasmic reticulum, or ER, and that these interactions lead to the abrogation of ER dynamics and other deleterious effects. To better understand these interactions, we used advanced electron microscopy technology that we have recently developed. First, the cells are rapidly frozen to ensure that they are preserved in glass-like vitreous eyes, avoiding the damaging formation of ice crystals. Because whole eukaryotic cells are too thick for high-resolution imaging by transmission electron microscopy, we need to thin them down. For this, we take advantage of our latest developments in focused ion beam technology. The cells are mounted on the chamber of a dual-beam focused ion beam scanning electron microscope. Then, they are coated by a protective layer of organometallic platinum. We use the electron beam to locate the cell of interest by correlative microscopy. Finally, we use the ion beam to abrade large parts of the cell, resulting in a thin lamella containing a section of the polyq aggregate within its pristinely preserved cellular context. This is what we call in situ study of protein aggregates. resolution imaging, the sample is transferred to a transmission electron microscope equipped with the so-called Volta faceplate, another in-house development that dramatically improves image quality. We record high magnification images of the aggregate from different directions by tilting the cell within the microscope. These images are then computationally reconstructed to produce a high-resolution 3D tomogram. Now, we will display two examples of such tomograms. In these examples, the raw EM data is shown first in grayscale. Then, specific structures are computationally selected and rendered in colors. Here, we look at a polyq inclusion within a human HeLa cell. The inclusion consists of fibrils, here shown in blue, and these fibrils interact extensively with different cellular membranes, especially those of the endoplasmic reticulum, shown in red. Fibril membrane interactions lead to membrane deformation and perhaps rupture. In this other example, we studied a polyq inclusion within a mouse neuron. It looks very similar to that of HeLa cells, with the polyq fibrils in blue surrounded by ER membranes in red, with which they interact extensively. Interestingly, large macromolecules such as ribosomes, shown in green, are excluded from the aggregate. In summary, here we have used cryo-electron tomography to provide high-resolution images of polyq inclusions within intact mouse neurons and human cells. We have shown that polyq inclusions consist of amyloid-like fibrils and that these fibrils interact extensively with cellular endomembranes. The polyq fibrils deform the membranes of the endoplasmic reticulum and alter its organization and dynamics. This work has been a collaboration between the Max Planck Institutes of Biochemistry and Neurobiology within the ERC-funded TOPAC consortium.